Hey everyone, welcome into another episode of American Truck Simulator. Of course, gotta get right back into it because the economy never stops, trucking never stops, and we just have to keep the ball rolling, you know? Just have to do what we can to get everything taken care of. So, let's of course the rig up a couple of trailers here I think we're just going to see I think we'll do this two different ways so we're in Yuma so first let's just let's just check it right we'll just just click on it see where so Holbrook so this is at the railroad station where we're at 17,700 Mm, okay. And there's Oxnard, California. Some toys to Walmart, Bakersfield, Oxnard, Barstow, Phoenix, Tucson, Flagstaff, San Diego. I don't think I've ever been to Ehrenberg. Oh, I've been through it. Never mind. Oh, that's sugar beets. That'd be kind of fun for something different. That's just machine parts. Oh, okay. Hold on. This is what? Three hours, 25 minutes. Or you can do one like this, which is eight hour. Um, it's gonna be good experience mods, though. So, oh, see the thing is we're here. The nice thing with the map is I thought about doing different. Maybe I'll come back. Wait, is that an actual? Oh yeah, actual Peterbilt dealer. Let's pick, well, we're going to pick up the load, and then I think we're also potentially going to stop, so. All right. Oh, wait. I got to actually accept it before I can go hook up to it. 17,791. I feel like it should be a lot more than that, but... This cotton seed. The Holbrook Railway Station. There, and we are hooked up. How many was this? Forty five thousand pounds. Okay. Again, at least this is something different from just hauling vehicles like we've been doing. Could stop and get gas after that too, because let's see, they're expecting it Friday at, oh, 27 hours from now. quick oh yeah we still have it marked where we are going so like I said we're gonna stop Get some gas. Well, 
only because we, we do need it. And then I want to do some upgrades to the truck. This is cool too, that they have it so we can actually just drive right up. This is nice. I like how you have that one really far away. Okay. Break, we'll fill up quick. Again, 517, so... Um, a little cheaper anyway, so that's that's nice. All right, the brake released. Now let's oh, I wonder if I was supposed to go that way. I bet it was. Well, we're going back this way. Oh, that's cool. Now there's a dump truck there. Stay green, stay green. Okay. Whew. I was a little nervous, not going to lie. Do some upgrades. Before we get on our way. So first let's fix the truck. And now it's not compatible to install it, needs to be removed. Okay, I just want to see what this looks like. Hmm. I can't believe I actually kind of dig this a little more. Ah, you know what? I think I'm going to keep it. Oddly enough. At least for now. Oh. Does it have to be six by two? What if I did? Why does it? Because I, I really don't want a six by two. All right, well, we are going to stay then with the day cab for right now because, yeah. See, this helps with weight, but like normal cargo, it doesn't pull as well. Just wait. So we go from this to this. I like it. A little nicer. Just because I, I just want to see it. Next day cab divided. 
It actually doesn't look that bad. That's mine. That's weird. I could have swore we had... Oh, I bet that... I bet it just depends on the... Um... Um... I can almost guarantee it's going to depend on the um, what kind of truck it is. Oh yeah. Some chrome cap. Doing the same here. So we'll go to here. Chrome cap. Those are chrome. These two are chrome. Okay. Start chroming the rig out. I'm here for it. Chrome caps. Okay, what about here? Bull bar flares. God, does that look ugly, though? Oh, so these... Oh, that's cool that they do that. And the backs are the same. That was actually really cool. Normal lights. Oh, yeah. What do we have on these? Yeah, we'll, we'll make them all. Who doesn't love a bunch of chrome? adapter all right cool now let's get turned around I actually like how those rooms look Of course, I don't have on the doors, but that's okay. All right, so 5.34, 5.33pm, obviously it's not going to happen because I'm going to need my sleep. It's, you know, 497 miles. Oh, sorry about that, folks. Wasn't trying to take a photo. I was actually trying to get my thing a little more up, uh, my map sorted out. Gosh, maybe I should, no, I don't want to trade this in, because it's tough when it's like, it's, you know, I'm weird, like, sentimental type stuff, where I'm like, well, but this is my first semi, right? Like, this is, this is the original. You can't get rid of the original. Like, why would you do that? What's the fun in that? Do you want to just look? Okay, so I'm on there for quite a while. For a little while. 
because I am again going to the um, railroad station BNSF in Holbrook. Eight hour drive ahead, so full day of driving. I feel like I got a popo behind me. Pretty sure I do. They know I'm a speeder. They just know it. They're gonna try and do whatever they can. I didn't want to go to two-wheel drive, especially for like pulling, say, heavier loads, power-wise. Um, and obviously, it needed that because right now I'm in a short chassis, and with obviously adding the um, low sleeper cab, that needs length, so you need it to be long. And I haven't unlocked any long ones. That was the first one I had unlocked, so makes sense why that was going to be a potential issue um, to begin with in that regard. And I'll be interested to see how how many hours are left when it's time for us to take a nap. If I can get up to 80, do that for a while, that will help. Come on, new car. Speed it up. Again, we are just taking our time bringing this cotton seed. Station. Again, the nice thing is we're going to have longer distance. So our it this trek, yeah, it's not for as long as it is. The money isn't as there as much because it's not a high value cargo. However, um, what's going to help is the XP that I'm going to get for it because that's going um, to be like the big thing. I'm going to get a very nice amount of XP for it that could potentially get me to level 11. So, I feel like that's a cop behind me, but I don't really know. I can't quite tell. We're just like I said, we're, like that's the one nice thing. Like for here, you know, seventy, even going seventy-five would be fine. But like eighty, it this allows for like these tracks to go a little quicker because I mean you just make it time pretty quick, um, almost making up for when you're in some of these cities where you 
go 30 or 35. Or you're stuck at lights for a little while. It's a nice BP trailer. I actually really dig that. I like that the semi is just plain white. It matches really nice. But that'd be the other cool thing is, you know, you hire a driver and if you could meet up and see them. That would be kind of a fun fun play on things as well. And just cruising along. I'm glad we filled up with gas, so that way if we get where for when we're going to need to sleep. At least we can just um, basically stop and be be set to go. Oh, joys! Oh boy! Oh boy! That could have been way worse. Like, like bad, real bad. That's highly unfortunate. UFA should be one I should, or DFA. One I should try and go to at some point. Pretty sure, yeah, I've, I wonder if I'm going to have to go through the hills again. I have a feeling I'm going to have to. get to like four hours left and need to go to sleep I'd be cool with that that would make things pretty easy in that regard I'd be okay with that so let's just hope um, that's where we can get it's gonna be close though even if we get four and a half hours I just have a feeling it's going to be yawning here soon. And then it'll be like 8 p.m., 9 p.m., probably 10 p.m. by the time I get up if I stopped. But that's alright. We'll just keep on traversing. Alright, 
Alright, so we got through Phoenix. Four fifty one, yeah, so again, should be should be okay in that regard. Okay. We need these hills here. Pick up some speed. We are fully zero damage, so heck yeah, we'll get some Yeah, we'll we'll hit uh fifty eight hundred miles when we're back. Uh, or when we get get to our destination in Holbrook. That's pretty cool. more time but we're going to need to stop so now granted didn't know it was this far back but that's okay if anything what this does is it allows us to cover this uh, this map See, this scares me. I feel like I tip my truck over with the amount of speed I have. This also seems more like a car one than a semi one. right here those 
That's crazy. on and get some rest. All right. Start the rig up. And away we go. worse at night because you can't see. So 4.30 a.m. We're still going to get there early. So again, still doing just fine. Got plenty of time. So can't complain with that. I guess I never looked at when we went to Yuma if it said anything. Never even... No, I don't remember. Gosh, I gotta get better at taking turns. I usually have too much speed. The trailer's got a little damage too. I feel like now that I'm getting higher up, it's causing like littlest hits or causing trailer damage. Which, as long as it's not the cargo, I guess. AM. Three and a half hours to go. 216 miles still on the docket. I almost should buy my own trailer. I probably can't because I bet A, hey, I'd have to go back to my shop in Phoenix. And I wonder if it had to get a little bigger before you can do that. I don't remember or recall, I guess, for that matter, what the rules are when it comes to that. down. Gotta keep going. It would also be interesting, so like, someone like myself who plays GTA, it'd be cool if I'm here Maybe there's a mod, but like with damages, like if it was a little more like super realistic. Now it does like the engine self installs, things like that. But it it would be really cool if it actually did, um, like massive. Like if you got into an accident, for instance, it would actually um, 
you know, do something about it, so to speak. I'd be, uh, like, like I said, very intrigued, to say the least. We also not been doing well at getting up to, uh, um, getting up to speed. A lot hillier here on Interstate 17, if I, uh, I'm not mistaken, yep, 17. I don't know, we'll go Interstate 40, and I bet 40 east to west, that sucker's probably going to be up to 75, which would be awesome. So we're going towards Albuquerque. Probably should slow down. At least a little bit. Oh, now we're up to sixty five. Passing by Flagstaff. I'd like to know if this vehicle is going to pass us or not. Fine. Get stuck behind us if you're going to be that way. A Burger King semi. A trailer at least. Five now. I was wondering why that semi was doing pretty well against me. It's got getting a draft from the car behind it. All right, you can you can play this game. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was close. I hit the wrong, uh, wrong button on my keyboard. That could have been just downright bad. Yep, I was not was going to want to. I would assume pass. to 80. Alright, so 440, 613 is when we're needing, so again, we'll have plenty of time, hour and a half left. So we're even going a little past Holbrook. Again, this has been the key thing, is the fact that, I mean, 75, I'm going 80 to help, um, help get me there in that regard. I'm, I'm actually glad, too, I didn't go, like, well, it was long, it should have been two, 220, it was just two-wheel drive was the problem. I didn't want to deal with that. I don't think I could go back down, though, to 150 gallons. This extra 50 gallons does wonders. It really does. Helps out a ton. Test the trailer. Again, I should start to. Uh, okay, so I've got a little bit. Not even going into the town of Holbrook. Well, technically past it. One 
our left. It's actually gone pretty quick. And it'll be a nice uh, $17,000 payday. So that'll be, that'll be real good as well in that regard. Get some extra money. Not really extra money, but... Pay back more and more of of that loan. And then it's just money. I can see though why like a person would almost want to just take a loan out for like five hundred thousand. Because I mean, if you wanted to you know, make the shop bigger and then you can make your shop bigger and then you can hire people and get more money back and all all that sort of thing. Um can make a big difference. At least we'll be early. Nothing wrong with that. that would get you into New Mexico. Hey, it's right down there. I think it'd be New Mexico unless it's ne Nevada. Oh no, that's funny. So you like swing around. Yeah, I bet it's a different state. thinking it was just like a road to my right where the BMP is I'm like seriously who's like why would someone randomly go down there but now that would make sense like to do so all right 40 hmm well, different all right gonna have us do like we did that one time dang a load of trucks I bet that would be going to Tesla because there is no other dealer which in that regard would be hilarious because you're like, well, it'd be cool if like, we had Ford dealers, things like that in the game. That would make a little more sense. because we actually have time. 
<laughs> Alright. The break on and unhook. Parking challenge 18 out of 20 now. See, 1200, that helps. Should you do another one like that or 1100 XP? I mean, that's already putting us to level 11. So that's that's super nice. Uh, you can have that. All right. Well, that is going to do it for another episode of American Truck Simulator. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you want to keep in touch. And uh, by all means, leave comments. 